We are at the 50s Primetime Cafe for our lunch. Kind of take you through the lunch menu a little bit. Show you what they have. Lunch time for some of us, nap time for others. You can still get that peanut butter and jelly milkshake that you can get from the lounge. We got it on the menu. And my plan is to order one to go on the way out. These are the cocktails from Dad's Liquor Cabin. And I got the Grandma's Picnic Punch. What'd you get, Sean? The one you suggested, the magical star. Oh, the magical star. star. That one is yummy. Had that one at Sanaa, it was very, very tasty. friendly menu and it's really cute decor it's like like somebody's house and they have these little TVs for every table that play little clips and snippets from old shows from the 50s John wanted to open up his kyber crystals and see what color he got there we go. Oh, red. And that's how we got around that. People used to use their flashlight on their phones to find it, to find a black crystal. And now they repeated that trick. So you got one side with this on it, and this side is empty. So it's the empty side that ended up screwing off, and same on here. And another red one. No. Oh. This is worth a shot. I feel like the other rooms have a lot of good knickknacks from the time period. Mm -hmm. like yeah. Cookie jars. And oh yeah. Stuff there's. Yeah, there's lots and lots of theming in other parts of the restaurant. We're kind of tucked back in a little bit of a corner because we were just too busy. But uh, we'll try to maybe show some of that on the way out. Okay. Sean ordered the was it a sampler of Mom's favorite. Yep. What well, we got here? A sampler of mom's favorites. Huh? <laughs> it was chicken, meatloaf, and I think hot roast. Mm -hmm. That sounds about right. Yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, it's like green beans and chicken. Pork tender pot roast and traditional meatloaf with all the fixings. So all the fixings are green beans and mashed potatoes and gravy. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. 
them. Oh, yeah. And I ordered the Caesar salad with chicken. It looks really, really good. I forgot, I just wanted to point out how my plate matches the table. The pattern on the plate is the same as the pattern on the table. It's cute.
tasty. It's very yum. Highly recommend. All right. There, what's in? All right, this is the best bin fizz. Cardi rum, yuzu puree, pomegranate juice, white cranberry juice, and a cloud swirl. It's kind of sparkly looking. I don't know if it picks up on the camera, probably not. It's kind of sparkly, very pretty. And it's yum. So lunch. Apologies now that I did not do a better job of taking the camera and showing everybody the restaurant. It does look really neat. Um, very well themed to like somebody's home in the 50s. The drinks were good. I really enjoyed my drink. I think we talked a little bit about what that was. Um, but as far as the food goes, I had the Caesar salad with chicken and it was delicious. The chicken was cooked perfectly. It was moist and juicy and flavorful. Um, there was plenty of dressing on the salad. I, I tend to be a person who has a little bit of salad with my dressing. And like there wasn't a puddle of dressing on the plate when I was done with it, but all the lettuce got dressed. I don't like a salad with dry lettuce. And none of the lettuce was dry. There was plenty of cheese. There was a big crouton. Um, so if you like, if you wanted to skip the crouton entirely, you could because it was one big piece. Or you could break it up or, or whatever you want to do. So I thought that was kind of neat. But it was, it was fantastic. It was um, much, much better than the chicken Caesar salad I had on a previous trip at the sci-fi dine-in theater. That was terrible. But the one at uh, 50's Prime Time was really good. We got the Magical Star Cocktail. Exfusion Organic Mango and Passion Fruit Liquor. Parabay Coconut Rum, Pineapple Juice, and Souvenir Multicolored Glow Cube. We've collected enough of the glow cubes I kind of we kind of left them behind. They're the next person. They, they're washable. They can, the next person can have them. There's a drawer in the kitchen. It's got at least six or eight of them. And they're not like you can freeze it and it stays cold and keeps your drink cold. No, it does nothing but flash color. So we don't like we have some, but we don't have parties like that. So I don't know what to do with these things. Although our, our lovely waitress, whose name was Patty, yep. uh, did suggest putting them in the bathtub for kind of like a disco effect. And that amused me and intrigued me and I may try that sometime. Alright then. <laughs> <laughs> But it was good. It was tasty, fruity. Uh, couldn't, wasn't uh, overpowering. And yeah, enjoyed that. And what about your meal? I had to get uh, a sampling of mom's favorite recipes. Uh, is the name of the dish. So it comes with uh, golden fried chicken, pork tender pot roast, and traditional meatloaf with all the fixings. All the fixings meant green beans and mashed potatoes and gravy. The green beans were good. As soon as they got there, they started to cool off really quick like green beans do, so I tried to polish those off. Um, but I, I was impressed. The chicken was was fried chicken. Um, the best thing I mostly get my fried chicken from KFC anymore, and it ain't no original recipe. It ain't no. Uh, I'm sorry, you can't beat. You can't beat that. It was still good though. It was good. It'd be a number two for sure. Um, for, for regular fried chicken, it was really good. Uh, See, the, the pot roast, there was something I think mostly in the gravy. There was a flavor in the gravy. It was a really, really good gravy. So it made the pot roast and the mashed potatoes really good. 
really tasty. Uh, and, and the pot roast itself was still tender, juicy, not too much fat. Uh, the portions were smaller than I expected. The pot roast wasn't much. I mean, like, it wasn't even as big as the rim of my glass. Um, so they were smaller. I think the uh, meatloaf was what you'd call medallion size last I ordered something like that. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't big, but I mean, you, you got five, six things. You got five, six. I was going to say, yeah, I think you should do over here. Can I have another? Thank you. I need a Jedi mind trick. That is the trick for you. Yeah. So much fun. Yeah, even standing. Yeah. The mashed potatoes were real mashed potatoes. Skin it on uh, a little bit chunky, uh, which I like. Uh, I got to the meatloaf, and that is those that is, that is my second favorite meatloaf ever. Uh, it was really good. I wasn't even expecting to like it, but it was really good. Um, very tasty, flavorful, it, and it came already uh, drizzled with ketchup. So I didn't have to do anything to it. I didn't have to ask them for ketchup. And it was a lot of fun. It was really nice. The, the food was so much better than I expected. Really good quality food. Server was great, very sweet, very like attentive without being obnoxious. She kind of just kept an eye on us out of the corner of her eye and made sure we didn't need anything, but she didn't really come over and bother us a whole bunch. Um, but like the kind of the shtick that that particular restaurant is known for is you're there like your family, right? It's your cousin, it's your auntie, it's whoever it is but you know that's serving you and you know mom's in the kitchen and dad's mixing your drinks and so it's it's a whole kind of family affair and then like the before time they would make you go stand in the corner if you had your elbows on the table uh if you went to the bathroom they would ask you what color the soap was to make sure that you washed your hands you know kind of things like that they, they've toned that down i think significantly at this point or at least certain servers have um there was Uncle Bill in the next room that was definitely still hamming it up and having a fun time, um, you know, with his tables. Yeah. But we, it sounded we, like they were also having a fun time back, so it was cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we put him put, uh, we heard him put out his code of conduct or whatever, so. And rule number one, um, no food fights. Yeah. Yeah. So I have no idea when that would have not report. Oh. Sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, I have no idea what to go back to. Quick wrap up of the last few minutes, and hopefully this is all that we've really missed. Um, but we've been to four, four out of five of the table service restaurants in Hollywood Studios. And we have not been to Hollywood and Vine. And 50's Prime Time is my favorite of the table service restaurants in this world. Yeah, definitely.
comments on this list. I mean, the grapefruit isn't my favorite, but even still, in this, I haven't noticed it. So it's not a huge... You like juicy though? Yeah. You don't like, you like bourbon? Yeah, like rum. Tequila. Yeah, bourbon's good, tequila's good. Okay. The way y'all mix things, yeah. I got you, all right. All right. There you go, that'll be fun. Yeah. I have, I mean, so many of these drinks are so good. They're so tasty, they're just a bit fruity. All got a little bit of tingle here and there, but they're a lot of fun. So you gotta try something new and just, yeah, what the hell. That's true, yeah. I don't think I've tried anything here that I just, I didn't want to finish it or I didn't like it. Um, yeah, I didn't order another jet juice just because I was feeling in the mood for something a little bit sweeter, a little fruitier. The jet juice isn't really either one. It's like what is it, bourbon based? Yeah. Um, it was good. It was fun. I just I wanted to go in a sweeter, fruitier direction. Yeah. But yeah, I don't really think you could go wrong with anything in here. Yeah. But you know, yeah, if you find that in particular, want a, want a certain one. They've got a little bit of everything. One rum drink, one bourbon drink. All right, that's a first story good song. Anyway. Um, yeah, yeah. They're all really good anyway, unless there's something specific that you really don't like. You should be good. The second drink that Sean ordered is a Jedi mind trick. It's Kettle One Botanical Grapefruit and Rose Vodka. John D. Taylor's Velvet Falernum. Oh, yeah. Blue Curacao, white grape juice, lime juice, and grapefruit bitters. Which, yeah, neither one of us like grapefruit, and that wasn't yeah. bad. Yeah. But it was definitely. It was mixed in well enough with the rest of the stuff. It's not so overpowering on the grapefruit. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I don't want to pretend that I identified the rose taste, but it tasted more herb-like than fruity to me. It, okay. Yeah, tasted more like flowers or herbs than any particular fruit. So if you're if you're here and you're looking for something that isn't like just another sugary rum drink, that might be yeah. your go-to. Um, not super sweet. Um, it's blue, which is fun. Um, but yeah, not bad. Please do not panic. You have not paid for the mug. Just <laughs> All right, right. Yeah, that's you good. I've one, already right? got one. <laughs> so I know it's a Thank drink you. I like. All right, even better. You guys enjoy. Thank, Thank you, you so much. So this one's our... That's a yum yum. Yeah, yum yum. Malibu peach rum, Sailor Jerry spice rum, citrus juices, passion fruit. Citrus juices and passion fruit served in a souvenir mug. That's right, that's too foolish. The fuzzy tauntaun. 
fuzzy tauntaun. It's like a fuzzy navel. It is super yummy. And this foam makes your lips and tongue kind of numb and tingly. And it's loads of fun. Yeah. I also noticed something real neat. The glass is like, looks a little barrel one. Got your bar. Of course, you got stools at the bar. They have non-alcoholic drinks, so they do allow the small ones. But you just just a simple stool. There are then boots inset into the walls to get seats. But you've got these out here. These tables just like that one there. That's where we're sitting at. And we're right in this line here. That's what we're standing at. Those do not get tape seats. They don't get bar stools, they don't get anything. You get to stand at these tables. And we both kind of find it really lame. This one is, um, if I hadn't actually described it so far, the Up Dub is a little more orange and passion fruit. It's a lot of orange juice with a little bit of other flavors. Oh, very good. Drinking on Disney property is fairly expensive. One fun part about Oga's is also the coasters. We have like a set of these at home, but this one is the one with the Ewok. And on the other side, it has the Oga's Cantina symbol on it. It's the same symbol you'll see outside of Oga's. Um, so yeah, those are fun. I enjoy them. This is Oga's from the outside. You can see the symbol for the cocktail. Kind of make out Oga's Cantina above the door. Or rather, Cantina. The Oga's is implied because it's the only cantina in town. But it's raining and I'm going to put the camera away. Wine Bar George in Disney Springs. And we are having appetizer feast for dinner. <laughs> we started with the mac and cheese bites, which are pretty good. And we also have meatballs. That we've heard are really good too. And this is called Saganaki on Fire. And if we like it a whole lot, we may have to order another one because I did not have the camera ready when they brought it out and lit it on fire. But it's cheese and they light it on fire and it smells wonderful. We're upstairs right by the window. We can see the stage and the lake. 